Essex TV. We're joined here by Ryan Ted Descarta, Essex Eagles captain. Ryan, what's the mood like in the camp ahead of the game? The mood's very good. We've had a good preparation phase, you know, starting after that disappointing performance at Edgebuston, and we kind of realised we need to put things right and approach things slightly differently for these big games. Um, you know, leading into that Sussex game last week and, and this week, everything's been very good, so, so we're positive about tomorrow. Yeah, you mentioned the Sussex game. Obviously, that was a very disappointing and frustrating evening. Um, but actually, the last time we really played a full game was that Birmingham tie in the quarterfinals. How keen are the players to get out and, and put, that, put that performance behind them? We're very keen. Um, you know, keep making these, these parts of tournaments and, and then missing out. Uh, you know, we feel that's got to change and, and our preparation has been slightly different. Uh, the good thing about the Sussex game was that we still did have a good run out there. Uh, Ports bowled very well, which is important for us, and, and Aaron Nidja bowled well as well. And you know, Topley and, and Masters got another chance to to stretch their legs. So, you know, the the weather and and the lack of games is maybe a good thing as well. You know, it's really allowed us to focus on the preparation. Um, and, and like I said, we're in a good space uh, for tomorrow. Looking at the Royal London One Day camp campaign as a whole, um, apart from the defeat away at uh, Glamorgan and the home game here against Notts, which was um, we got beaten by an amazing couple of innings from Samit Patel and James Taylor, it's been quite a solid campaign, hasn't it? I mean, are you saying to the players just to build on that and, and keep doing what they're doing? It has been very solid. It, it comes and goes very quickly. I think it was a 10 day uh, space from the first to the last game. So you can't really afford to slip up. And, and like you say, we're pretty consistent uh, apart from, from that one game at Glamorgan where, where we got bowled out cheaply and, and didn't assess the conditions. Um, it's a very experienced side and, and we've, we've got to, to this phase of the, of the tournament loads of times. But I think that approach of, of just trying to treat it like another game and, and play like the way we have been playing has is, is not really worked for us. So like I did say earlier, the preparation has been slightly different and, and more focus has, has been on the importance of this game. We're going to the game tomorrow night. Um, in terms of your preparation, how have you been looking at the strengths and weaknesses of Yorkshire and what you can sort of target and stuff? And what are their strengths and weaknesses, really? Yeah, we've been going through all that, uh, you know, all, all of this week. And we've just actually had a video session up there. Um, they're a very accomplished four-day side and, and they do have some big-name players. Um, but, you know... I, think back to that game last year where we beat them at Scarborough that is a massive boost for us and um, you know we've got certain threats that we need to neutralize in, in their attack particularly um, but you know most mostly focus on, on what we need to do to produce our best game out there tomorrow. Yeah obviously tomorrow's game is is at home at the ECG and this draw for the semi-finals has been done and we would again be if we managed to get through at home how much of a boost is that to the players knowing that they would have the home support to count on is that a bit of a boost to the players? Yeah, the incentive to, to make the semi-final, um, you know, it's always there, but the fact that we know it's going to be at Chelmsford is great. Uh, the support we received throughout the, the Royal London One Day Cup and the 2020s year at home was fantastic. So I know all the players love playing here. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more added pressure um, playing here at home, but we, we are happy to be here. Looking a couple of games ahead now, um, what would it mean to you to lead out the Essex Eagles at Lords as captain uh, and also then potentially to lift the trophy at the home of cricket? Uh, we've been to Lords once and that's one of my greatest memories of playing at Essex. You know, we, we won there as well against Kent in 2008 or nine, I'm not sure what it was, but that is a, a really great day out the occasion. It's a massive occasion for county cricket. Um, you know, me as captain, but I think more the team, so uh, we're desperate to get a bit of silverware. Um, you know, we feel like we've played a lot of good cricket and, and have nothing to show for it, which is, is probably a fair criticism. Um, but, you know, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's make sure we get a job done here tomorrow and then we can start looking forward. Well, we wish you all the best tomorrow. Thanks very much, Tendo. Cheers, Rob. Thanks.